What is up, Bama Nation? On a Tuesday, yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine. Tonight, people, big night. College Football Playoff Committee having out the new rankings here on ESPN. A lot being discussed right now. A lot of conversations. Does Alabama get in? Does Alabama not get in? Is not in the top 12? What about Miami? What about South Carolina? What about Arizona State? There is a lot happening right now in terms of the rankings coming out on tonight. But the big thing here is where does Alabama sit tonight? How does the college football playoff committee deliberate when it comes to Alabama? How do they feel about the Crimson Tide? Bama coming off a 28 to 14 win in the Iron Bowl. It handled it handled Auburn at Saban Field. It got some chaos with Miami losing and with Clemson losing to South Carolina. But where does the committee sit here on Alabama? We saw on Sunday the AP poll and the USA Today coaches poll both having Bama at number 11, but how does the committee sit? And the reason why I ask this question is the loss to Oklahoma for Alabama is hurting them in the eyes of the committee. Here is why. The committee right now, they are in love with the Miami Hurricanes. They're in love with Miami. Even though Miami does not have a win, over a team currently ranked in the top 25. They do not have a win over a team currently ranked in the top 25. However, the committee is looking at Miami's close losses, and they're saying these two close losses that Miami has to Georgia Tech and a ranked Syracuse at number 23, they are better than Alabama's losses due to the fact that Bama's third loss to Oklahoma, bad loss. That was the game Alabama came out flat in Norman. Uh, offense couldn't do anything. Um, defense you know, couldn't stop the run there of Jackson Arnold and Xavier Robinson. And the Sooners won 24-3 in Norman. The fact, that, the fact that Alabama could only put up three points in Norman really hurt the tie. So you look at this committee, they look at Miami's loss to Syracuse, which was 42 to 38, close loss right there. And then look at Miami's loss to Georgia Tech, the Yellow Jack winning that game 28 to 23, close loss there. And they view those better than Alabama's. The committee has talked about so far, if you got a close loss, we view that, we look at that in high regard. We take that into consideration. So this is what's happening right now. Even though Miami does not have a win over a team currently ranked in the top 25 because their close losses are better than Alabama's, they have that they're in love with Miami. And right now, Miami in the AP poll, Miami in the coaches poll, they sit three spots behind Alabama. Alabama number 11, Miami at 14, but the committee is looking to jump Miami over Alabama. Why? Because of the close losses that they deem better for Miami than the Crimson Tide. And if Alabama would have beaten Oklahoma, this would not be a conversation right now. Why? Because both Miami and Alabama would have the same overall record of 10 and 2. Bama and Miami's close losses would be identical. Alabama's loss to Tennessee would equal Miami's loss to Syracuse because Tennessee and Syracuse both ranked. And then Alabama's loss to Vanderbilt would equal Miami's loss to Georgia Tech because both of those two teams are heading to bowl games. Georgia Tech 7 and 5, Vanderbilt 6 and 6. So, but it becomes, okay, who has the better wins? And that would hands down be Alabama because Bama would have a win over Georgia, who's ranked number five in the country. Bama would have a win over South Carolina, who's ranked number 13 in the country. And Bama would have a win over Missouri, that's ranked number 22 in the country. Three top 25 wins over programs currently ranked in the top 25. Miami has none. So, that loss to Oklahoma is really hurting Alabama right now because the committee in love with the Miami Hurricanes. We will see how this deliberation shakes out, right? 
Because according to Heather Dinich, ESPN college football playoff expert, this is how she's projecting this. She is saying if the committee has Miami in, Alabama is out. If the committee has Miami out, then Alabama's in. So Miami is the most significant team right now. I know a lot of us were discussing, well, you know, if SMU beats Clemson, uh, that puts Clemson out, Bama's in. And yes, the S, the ACC championship game between SMU and Clemson, it does carry weight. But right now, the most significant thing, how does this playoff committee view Miami? Because if they put Miami in here with their two close losses to Georgia Tech and Syracuse, Bama's out. If the committee puts a three-loss Bama in there because of their ranked wins in the AP Top 25 over the bad loss to Oklahoma, then Miami's out. So this loss to Oklahoma is really in the minds of this committee, but hopefully Bama's three wins over teams currently in the top 25 trumps the loss to o Oklahoma. We're going to have to see. But right now that loss to Oklahoma is hurting Alabama in the eyes of the committee due to the committee valuing Miami's close losses to Georgia Tech and Syracuse. But we will see what happens tonight as the, as the committee makes its deliberation here via ESPN. This is yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, just giving my thoughts on tonight's deliberation with the committee and why the Oklahoma loss is hurting Alabama right now in the eyes of the committee.